Now, Apollo Tires is, uh, you know, company on our radar, reported a very good set of numbers, if you remember, a few weeks ago. Uh, we have an exclusive conversation lined up now with the management. The company has given a revenue growth guidance of 20% for the standalone entity to discuss how the company is grappling with the energy crisis in Europe and their business outlook going forward. We have Neeraj Kanwar, who's the Vice Chairman and Managing Director at Apollo Tires. Neeraj, good morning and thank you for being with us on the channel. I want to start first with Q2 because it was a very strong set of number, numbers at a time when your peers are seeing pressure and there is pressure in markets like Europe where you operate. Can you tell us what's the outlook on the overall business and how is the situation now in Europe? We've had a healthy growth in quarter two. Uh, at a consolidated level, we've had a 17% growth in revenues. Uh, specifically, as far as India is concerned, we've had a close to 17% again. And uh, as far as Europe is concerned, we've had a 31% increase. Uh, in Europe, our volumes have gone up, to, uh, total volumes have gone up by 9%. Uh, but as far as passenger car is concerned, we've gone up by 14%. So that's a very handsome growth. And that's happening because of two or three factors. One, obviously, the R&D uh, efforts have really made our tires uh, come on podium positions in test tracks in Germany. And, and that's helping us. Also, our focus and concentration on the ultra high performance tires and the ultra ultra high performance tires is doing good. Our share has gone up to 42% of our total revenue of passenger car has gone up to 42% of the ultra high performance tires. That's really good for the company because it does expand our profit. Uh, that's a large profit pool, which is the higher inch tires and therefore uh, profit expansion happens. As far as India is concerned, uh, you know, we're looking at uh, India growth happening. We've been correcting our prices as we go along. As you know, raw material pressures have been there. Uh, I'm happy to say that we've also had a margin expansion in India. If you see our beta margins have gone up 12% uh, uh, quarter on quarter, Y on Y actually. Uh, and so we've been holding up on our prices while our truck volumes have gone down. But, you know, today our mantra is very clear on profitable growth. So we are not going in for markets where we do not see profitable growth. We are looking at segments also within passenger car and truck in India on how to enrich our product mix, on how to sustain our pricing policy that we have in the market, at the same time gain our market share. Uh, Neeraj, uh, in the conference call, <clears throat> you had given a revenue growth guidance of 20% for the standalone entity. Could you tell us what will that be led by, which are the sectors which, you're, uh, which are doing well? You just said that, you know, uh, the, uh, the truck segment is down, although segments within that where some segments profitability is profitability is good, but where will this come from? This twenty percent growth. Well, uh, like you said, CV is something which is coming back in a big way, and uh, I believe today, given what we have done in the truck bus radial segment, we have taken out five to six new products for the customer. So we believe that uh, uh, we will gain. Uh, uh, market share with these new products that are coming out. So CV is going to take the lead uh, and, and then will come the passenger car segment. Uh, today in radials in India, we are the leaders. And so I see uh, radials across the board taking off. Um, also, uh, as you know, we have launched our motorcycle radials and that's also doing very good. Uh, we've also launched the Fredestein brand in India, uh, which is also getting a very good demand pull. And that's more on the higher end tires for passenger cars and motorcycle radials. And so all of these put together, I see a handsome growth coming in H2 in right. India. Okay, now to that, uh, is there scope for margin expansion since you've taken what around a 5% price hike and now raw material prices as well are cooling? Well, you'll see margin expansion, uh, not because of only raw material prices easing off, but also because of what I mentioned about us focusing on enriching more of our product mix and getting new products into the market with new pricing policies. Uh, so you will see margin expansions happening in H2, definitely. Also, there's a very clear focus on overhead cost controls across the organization. There's a very uh, good focus on uh, uh, productivity improvements in our plants, which all then comes to cost management and cost efficiency. So all this will lead to a margin expansion.
Good to hear. So there are three reasons for margin expansion you're saying. One is fall in raw material prices, second is cost efficiencies and more value added products. So I guess that's, uh, you know, great news for your operational improvement. But the one concern that the street has had, uh, Neeraj, is rising debt. Your debt has risen to 5,500 crores. Just want to understand, uh, do you plan to bring it down anytime soon? So, yeah. Uh, um... No, debt will come under control in H2 because our inventories in September end have been high, both on the raw material front and on um, uh, on finished goods. Uh, so we are looking at that. Inventory management will happen in H2, and we believe our debt will come down. So there is a lot of focus on, I want to say one thing, there is a lot of focus within the company on return on capital employed and on free cash flow. So we're trying to see how we can improve, improve our balance sheet ratios. Um, so really clearly profitable growth, trying to see how we can improve our ROSI and uh, free cash flow situation. So that's really the mantra going forward uh, for Apollo Tires across the organization. Well, one is inventory, I've said. O obviously on CapEx, we're going to be much more tighter controls. Uh, um, now we're not looking at any new CapEx is going out. Uh, and mainly uh, our target is to be, be below two uh, or a net debt equity. So we are looking at uh, uh, to be below the two number as far as net debt equity is concerned. Mm. <clears throat> Neeraj, uh, on, the, on, the, on the capital expenditure front, will there be any changes? Well, we are at a planning stage now for FY24. Uh, and so I can't give you a CapEx number now because we're into a budgeting process. But yes, definitely we will be looking at small growth in passenger car segment because our utilization is today upwards of 90, 95% in passenger car uh, because we are catering to new markets with profits coming into the company. And so US is a very new market for us, North America, uh, where we are growing handsomely and uh, has a very good profit pool. So Europe, again, we are exporting close to one and a half million tires from India. Uh, and so we will be looking at some capex of growth coming in passenger car segment. But I can't tell you right now what that number is because we're still in a planning stage. Okay. One final question because, you know, you are at the epicenter of the problem across Europe. I mean, you have your Redestein business over there, but you still managed to grow it quarter on quarter. So just trying to understand is the worst behind and how did you manage to improve profitability at a time when there are so many challenges? No, in fact, the pressure has just started. We're seeing a major recession in Europe. Um, but just as far as Apollo is concerned, uh, we did hedge our energy prices. So uh, while energy prices went up by four times to five times over last year, uh, our energy prices went up by only one time. And because we were able to hedge our energy prices in Hungary. And so that's really helped us. Secondly, uh, you know, there were around eight to 10 million passengers car tires coming from Russia uh, and that has got banned uh, because of EU sanctions in the month of July and Apollo Fredestein has been going after those networks of dealers in various parts of EU uh, where these tires were coming from and that's where we've been gaining market share and that's why you've seen a very healthy growth of 14% in our passenger car segment. Uh, as I mentioned to you also our focus on ultra high performance tires is there and that's also giving us very good growth. Uh, lastly, our truck bus radials that we launched uh, two years ago, th those are also coming out very good in the market and, and we're getting a very good demand pull. So all, all put, all, when I put all of these actions together, I believe we will have a good growth in H2 in Europe also. All right, uh, Neeraj, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much.